Good morning, camels, and welcome to Wake Up CU, the talk show for students by students. We're back after a successful first season. We've been brought back for another semester, and it's going to be great. I'm Gray Barnhill, and sadly, Danielle Stansel, my co-host co last year, graduated in May. So this year, I'm joined by my brand new co-host and friend, Taylor Deckert. Thanks, Gray. I'm really excited to be a part of this new crew. And this semester, I'm looking forward to all the fun stuff we've got planned. We do have a lot planned, not only today, but the rest of the semester for sure. And we can't wait to share it with you soon. But first, let's go over just a little bit of how this show works, uh, just so you know if you didn't watch last season. We have three main parts of the show. First, we talk about hot topics. Then we're going to talk about things that are going across the world, the country, across social media, and everything in between. Then we normally have an interview of some sort or some special surprise or game followed by our News Minute, where we tell you everything that's happening in, Cam in Campbell University in Bowie's Creek. There's definitely a lot going on, so let's get to it. First, with our hot topics. Ooh, Taylor, tell me what is hot right now. All right, well, what's not hot is this hurricane coming. Um, hurricane Florence, uh, it's currently a Category 1 hurricane. There's a picture um, from Joe Burriel. Um, that they tweeted last night, and it is going to make landfall right on the Wilmington area. Like, it's so stressful because I'm not a hurricane person. Really? Bad weather person, no. We're going to have a lot of rain. I actually kind of enjoy when the power goes out sometimes. Mm. It's, yeah. like, fun, I think. It's like hide-and-seek without, like, wanting to play. <laughs> <laughs> you can play board games and, like, weird stuff that you do with flashlights. Yeah. Flashlight tag in your apartment. Yes. Um, I think this is hilarious because I'm a huge um, Friends fan, yeah. but, um, you know. We want it to pivot and go the other way. <laughs> pivot. Like, it's fine. <laughs> um, and actually, UNCW already has their classes canceled for this week because of how um, bad it's going to impact our coast. That's right. And we are unsure of currently what we're going to do here at Campbell, if there are any precautions that we need to take. But I will say you yourself need to make sure that you are getting ready. Make sure you have flashlights, you have water. Um, do some laundry. Go ahead and do your laundry so make sure you have clean clothes during the hurricane because you may not be able to wash those clothes. Fill up your bathtub um, with some water uh, so that way you can flush your toilets later on. Um, get a can opener. That's something I think I need to check off my list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Charge all of your electronics, your phone, computer, watches, whatever you have that could be helpful during the storm. Yep. All right. So. Anyway, so um, I was on... Uh, on Snapchat the other day, and I found this story about a girl who made this guy apply for to be her husband on Tinder. That's a very interesting topic. And because this that's like a hookup app, and so it's not normally like a look for a husband kind of thing. <laughs> like. It's interesting. So this guy, you can see this letter. This guy wrote a full letter and had everything very laid out and detailed about everything that was in her Tinder bio, but also kind of just some other things about how wonderful he of a husband he would be. Was her application that detailed to the point like he was responding in the right way or did he just go the extra mile? I honestly it? think he just went the extra mile. From what I could tell, she like matched with him on Tinder and then sent him a message that said, send in a letter of why you could be my husband to this email address. <laughs> That's crazy. So you never know no, right what now. you can find on Tinder or other dating apps. All right, and then another news topic is uh, there's Domino's is giving away 100 years of free pizza to anyone who would tattoo the logo on their body. Um, the promotion was canceled after five days due to the overwhelming popularity. Um, it was announced that only the first 350 people would receive the pizza. Um, where would you do this for, like another restaurant? Or I don't know. I like probably wouldn't really put it like put a tattoo of a restaurant on my body. Yeah. I feel like that would be weird. Like, you have to have something that's more... Well, the Domino's one, like, that tattoo that we just showed, it was very... It's small and simple, so it, it's not like, like, boom, like, this that's is true. Domino's. That's very true. But, like, if I had to get a tattoo, it would be Starbucks, just because that's just such a staple item, and I love my coffee. Where would you put it? I don't know. I'd probably be, be like, basic and put it on my ankle or something. <laughs> but then I'm it's not like, getting a tattoo. It's, like, hidden more, too, if you, like, put it on your yeah. ankle or something. So that totally makes sense. Mm, yeah. uh, also, there is there was an insect heist uh, where there were some people that worked for a company that stole forty thousand dollars worth of insects and reptiles uh, from a Pennsylvania insectar insectarium. Uh, Seven thousand insects and reptiles, including millipedes, roaches, geckos, tarantulas, 
were believed, uh, and it was believed to be an inside job. I just think that's weird. Yeah. Why are you stealing these, like, insects? Like, you can just go outside and grab as many mosquitoes, <laughs> like, here in Booze here, you can get all those, those gnats. And, Come on, you know. steal the gnats. I want them gone. Yeah. We don't need them anymore. Yeah, I don't like gnats here on campus. That's, like, my least favorite bug in Booze Creek. Gnats are annoying. Mosquitoes are annoying. Oh, my goodness. I went out to dinner last night, and I got eaten up because we went at, like, sunset. It was, like, super pretty outside, and then as soon as it got dark, like, we were attacked by mosquitoes, and we were, like, asking our waitress. We were, like, can we go pay our bill now? Like, we're ready to go. Like, <laughs> Trying to get out. We're, like, we love the food. We love your service, but we were, like, I just can't sit here any longer. Like, right. I'm ready for, like, the weather to change to get this, well, all these bugs out of here. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, are you a Twilight fan? Um, I watch the movies, but I'm not necessarily a fan. But um, apparently, Bella Swan from Twilight, her house is for sale. Um, so it's the movie, the the house that was in the movie, right? Right, the house that was filmed that they filmed at for the movie, uh, and it's simply about three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know, it's like pocket change. Just pull that out, throw it on the table. You got your house a cele- You got yourself a ho- celebrity house. Mm, it's a cute house too. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I had to live in a celebrity house, it would definitely be one of Taylor Swift's mansions that she has all over the place. I think they're the cutest. She's got one in Maine and Nashville, um, all over the place. I feel like Ellen's house would be really nice. Of course. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it. <laughs> she has like a really nice house in California, and she's neighbors with Oprah. Really? Like, who would not want to be neighbors with Oprah? That. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, speaking of celebrities, uh, are you a fan of tennis at all? Um, I watch it when it makes, like, big news. Right. Well, there is some big news about tennis. Serena Williams lost to Naomi Asuka in the U.S. Open final. Uh, she called the umpire a liar and a thief after some calls that he made um, and broke her racket on the court because she was so mad about it. Oh, wow. Yeah, were the she, fans, like, doing anything? The fans were booing, uh, and everybody was really just against the ref. At the end of the game, when they were putting, or, like, giving the awards to Naomi, um, she was, like, breaking down in tears and crying because she thought everyone was booing at her, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Um, but it was said to be a gender thing and that the uh, umpire was, like, calling things just because they were female, uh, which I don't think is right. No, but not at all. Supposedly, uh, so Serena's coach was coaching her from the stands as she was playing, and that's illegal in the rules during like the open in tennis. Gotcha. So, so she's breaking rules anyway. Right, and I think they have video like video of the guy doing that and like coaching her, so she can't really get out of it. Gotcha. Um, but her, I think her thing was literally every coach does it, and like hers just got caught. So. Well, speaking of some females, uh, the Miss America pageant was last night, and Miss New York won. Her name is Mia Franklin. Uh, she's the first African-American con- uh, contestant to use opera as her talent, and I actually watched it, and she was really good. Um, everybody was really gorgeous up on that stage, and it's just really cool to see uh, like pageants come to life and how much effort they put into it. Do you listen to Bobby Bones? Uh, sometimes. Okay, he was a, like a judge last night, and so when really, was, when they like panned to like the judges for like the judges question, um, he asked a question. I was like, oh my gosh, is that really what he looks like? He looks nothing like what you would like think. Like he was also a a uh, person that the American Idol people talk to. Yeah, uh, like a mentor. A mentor. Yeah. That's the word. I couldn't think of the word. So he's uh-huh. all over the place now, which is right. awesome. He's growing his... Right. I think he's done a great job. I mean, everybody listens to him. Yeah. Uh, but congratulations to Miss New York, now Miss America. Yes, yes, yes. And more females going on. We had Panhele- Panhellenic uh, sorority recruitment over the weekend. Yes, we did. Taylor, uh, I know you're in a sorority. Yes, yesterday was bid day. Um, so... You might have seen on your Instagram, um, the feeds were flooded with pictures from DeFi. Oh, hey, there's me. <laughs> um, I was formal recruitment chair, so we helped uh, plan the day. Um, we had some awesome themes. It was just such a great day, um, just celebrating all of the new members that came home. But I can see how it would be on the outside, the view of Wow, there's so many pictures. Like. <laughs> I think I'm like friends with a lot of people that are in 
sororities. And I think, you know, a lot of people enjoy them. They have a lot of fun with them. But, like, I was going through Instagram this morning, and I was like, oh, my gosh, look, another picture. Cool, another picture from Bid Day. Oh, they found their sister. <laughs> and it was like, like, I'm not putting anything against them, but it's just, like, a lot of photos. But I think it's also great that the – they're just so excited that they're posting these photos and really trying to show people how much of a gathering, a sisterhood, a sisterhood that yeah. it brings everyone together. Yes, I've still got my like flash tattoos on right now. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there was lots of glitter. Um, so, uh, so football. We're gonna switch over to some football right now. Uh, they had a big win on the road um, this weekend versus Georgetown, 13 to eight. It was the first win on a non-conference Division One school. So now they're at uh, two to zero in the season. The next home game is Saturday the fifteenth at s seven p.m. That's correct. So that's awesome. That's exciting. Go football! So proud of everything <laughs> you guys have done. You guys did awesome at the opener game. I yes. think it was a great game. I loved the, like the football game, especially uh, we're seniors. So I was <laughs> like, I have to go to my last first home yeah. game. Um, and it was the first one for the Big South. Like, I was, it was just such a great Right. Experience. I think, and this year, I think just for football, it was huge. I mean, the first year in the Big South Conference, um, so first year with scholarship players, but also, like, the marching band coming out. Yes, and the Sand Hills. They are just so strong in everything they're doing, and that program is really growing, which I think is bringing even more people to Campbell. Yes. Oh, well, and I was talking to a freshman who has uh, joined the Campbell Crazies, and she is so excited for all of the sporting events on campus. Just because it's it's starting to become very, a very hype thing, and people are going to like all the events. There's like apps you can check in and get points, and like it's just it's a really cool thing that we have on campus. Yeah, I think it's the Go Camels app. You can download and get points for every game you go to. Join the Camel Crazies. They've got these big one hump T-shirts that they're wearing, yeah. pulling people together. Um, I think Camel Cam even did a video on the first football game <laughs> season, uh, first football game. So definitely check that out. Uh, there's a lot going on in Bowie's Creek, even even if you don't think there is. Yeah. So that's all for our hot topics, but stay tuned because after the break, we'll have the Campbell News Minute. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably going to turn down the radio, too, so you could focus, right? Probably OK isn't OK. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. Welcome back for the Campbell News Minute. CAB is hosting a fireman's fundraiser dinner tomorrow night in the Rumley Center at 5 p.m. Come out and support our first responders. Every Wednesday starting September 5th, join outdoor recreation as they travel to the climbing place in Fayetteville for a night off the ground. $15 includes transportation, climb time, and gear. Beginners are welcome. Love kayaking? Love camping? Why not combine the two on a river in our own backyard? 
This two-day, one-night trip starts at Buckhorn Dam on the Cape Fear River. We will paddle nine miles from the put-in and camp at Raven Rock State Park's secluded Canoe Inn campground. The second day, we will paddle to our takeout point in Lewington. Never kayaked before? No problem. Beginners and advanced participants are welcome. Food on location, equipment, and transportation will be provided. Mandatory pre-trip meeting will be held on Thursday, September 13th at 8 p.m. in Carter Gym's classroom. Come out to the Eeks Athletics Complex this Wednesday night to support our men's soccer team as they take on VMI at 7 p.m. That's your Campbell News Minute. Stick around because we'll wrap up the show right after this. After 15 years of smoking, Eva Marie quit. There's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stopped smoking. Now start screening. Learn more at savedbythescan.org. It takes less than one minute to find out if you may have prediabetes. You can do it here. But I get it, you're busy. And busy people can't have prediabetes. Uh, I read that wrong. They can, okay. Just go to the site. Hey, look, it's those guys. Uh, Are you good to drive? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. Recently, our country has witnessed catastrophic devastation. Hurricanes and flooding have upended lives and livelihoods. Across this great country, Americans have answered the call. A special calling that compels us when others are down to step up and do whatever it takes. America's at her best when, against all odds, we come together and lift each other up. Please donate to oneamericaappeal.org. America needs you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Gray, that's all for the show today, but there's a lot coming up for the rest of the semester. I'm super excited about what we might be doing. We're going to have interviews, games, specials, and all kinds of other things in store. So, you know, make sure you keep an eye out for what we're going to be having. Uh, follow us on social media at CampbellCUTV on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and join us next week at the same time in the same place, because that's another episode of Wake, Wake Up, up CU. CU.